Welcome back, Basic Economic Concepts. And this is going to be a brief introduction to the economic way of thinking. In this video, you will learn what is the fundamental issue facing economics, as well as why nothing in life is free. All right, so this is probably, not probably, it is the fundamental problem of economics. The word is scarcity. Um, this is referring to the limited nature of society's resources. So a good is scarce if there are people, more people who want that resource than there is that resource available. Whenever people want more of a resource than is currently available, we would say that that resource is scarce. Now, why is that the fundamental problem? Well, because of that scarcity, because there are more people desiring the resource than there are resources available, we have to make choices. And again, if you recall from the first video, economics is the study of choice. So because of scarcity, because we can't all have everything we want because there's not enough resources for that, we have to make choices. Um, so this is the fundamental problem of economics. If things weren't scarce, there would be no need for us to make those choices or those trade-offs because we could have everything. Now, in harmony with that, we have the term trade-off. The trade-off is the idea that we must give up one thing to get something else. So usually in life, we think of, because we buy things using money most of the time, our trade-off is, all right, I can have this $5 bill or I can have lunch today. If we want lunch, we have to trade the $5 bill. If we'd rather have the $5 bill, then we don't make that trade-off, but we give up eating lunch today. So again, there's always a trade-off. We have to give up one thing to get something else. This is again an idea that will be hammered home throughout many videos in this course. So I know I'm going through quickly through these, but again, the reason is because we will talk about this a lot this year in this course. There is no such thing as a free choice. That is just a slightly altered version of the original quote from Milton Friedman. Um, I think that this makes it just slightly more clear. The idea of this is that everything has a cost. Nothing is free. Now, again, we're going to kind of go through this a little bit more quickly. This could have its own video for sure, and actually I might make it its own video. So if you want to talk about this more or discuss this more, we have an outlet to do that. But the main idea here, when we think of the word free, people mean I didn't have to pay anything for it. There was no, I didn't have to pay any money. So it costs zero dollars, zero cents. That's what people mean when they say something is free. So if I give you a free lunch, free piece of pizza, you didn't have to pay me money for it. You consider that free. The idea here, though, is that everything has a cost. The question would be, what did you have to do to get that pizza? What would you have done if you didn't do that thing? So if I made you come to my classroom, so you had to um, review economics today, and in exchange for that, you got a free piece of pizza. Well, what was the cost? Well, you would have done something else with your lunchtime. You would have hung out with your friends. You would have done something. Now, I'm not saying that this is a great cost, but you gave up something so that you could come get that free, supposedly free air quotes, uh, slice of pizza. So there isn't anything that's actually free. We do give up something for every single thing we do in life. And if you're not convinced yet, again, like I said, I'll make another video to really go into that idea in more detail. But for the sake of this video, it's really all I'm going to say about that idea at this moment. Another hugely important idea, in fact, I would say it's the most important idea in economics is that of opportunity cost. And again, I do have another video that's solely about this, so you can go check that out. It's one of the economic reasoning principle videos. Opportunity cost is what must be given up to obtain something else. So we have two pictures here with examples. And we have, all right, so let's do the one on the left. You have a girl here who says she's choosing between two things, an iPhone 4, so this is a little bit old, and some Uggs says her text bubble says I chose the iPhone so that was her choice she decided to use her money to get an iPhone and then she very astutely says the Uggs are my opportunity cost so what she's saying is because I got the Apple the iPhone I'm sorry I couldn't get the Uggs that's what she gave up that's the thing she would have used her money for if she didn't buy the iPhone her next best option was getting Uggs so that's her opportunity cost Again, notice that her opportunity cost isn't everything else on earth she could have bought with that money. Rather, it is the single thing what she would have done with that money. In this case, she would have bought Uggs, so that is her opportunity cost. The example on the right, John chooses to study for his exams. That's his choice. 
What did he give up in order to get a better grade on his test? He gave up a good night's sleep. So that's what he would have done. If he hadn't studied, he would have gone to sleep. He gave that up, so that's his opportunity cost. And an incentive is something that motivates a person to act. Um, this picture, most people do things for money, so most people who have a job, the main reason that they have that job, they might like it, they might enjoy it, it might make them feel good, but they're getting paid for it. And if you remove that incentive, a lot of people probably wouldn't keep doing the thing that they're doing. Last term in this section is going to be marginal analysis. Um, again, there's going to be an entire unit about this, so I don't feel the need to go over this in huge detail now. The idea is that you're looking at additional benefits of an activity compared with the additional costs incurred. So the idea here is that you've been studying for an hour. You have a big task tomorrow. The question is, if you study for another 10 minutes, how much additional benefit will you get versus the additional costs? The additional benefit is, well, how much is your grade going to improve because of that 10 minutes of studying, the additional 10 minutes of studying? The cost is, well, again, that's another 10 minutes that you're giving up whatever it is that you would rather be doing. So you have friends that are waiting for you. That's the cost. You're not hanging out with your friends for another 10 minutes. So which one of those things is greater? If the additional benefits are greater than the additional cost, you don't really care about your friends anyway, and that grade is important and you think it's gonna, these 10 minutes are really gonna make a difference, then keep studying. One of the secrets of economics is you shouldn't just keep studying just because it doesn't actually work that way. But again, like I said, this will be its own video um, in unit two. It's gonna be actually, the whole unit is about that. So we'll talk a lot more about that in unit two. This has been a LaMoney production.